Hi everyone, today I am going to be colouring um, this cute little page. This is the fawn. Um, I'll just show you, I've got my pencils on the page. It's called Fawn in Brambles and it's from the Night Garden book by RJ Hampson. And the reason I have picked this specific picture is due to a hashtag that Pixies Projects is running on YouTube. It's Pixies Disney Colouring. Now obviously this isn't a Disney picture. But I'll explain more. I'll start colouring because it's fun and explain a little more. So I'm going to start with the actual fawn. I'm using my, um, what am I using? <laughs> Castle Arts Gold. And I'm just going to start with a little bit of yellow ochre over the whole um, fawn. I shall zoom in a little because we'll concentrate on the fawn particularly to start with. There he is. It's pushing into the middle. There we go. And I'll talk a little about and Pixies Challenge. So Pixies Projects um, on YouTube, I will put a link um, in my description so you can go and find it. And what Pixie does is, uh, well Pixie, not her real name obviously, <laughs> she has a challenge each um, month, um, a Disney challenge. Now she picked out this month um, a Bambi but she obviously realises that not everybody has a Disney book. So something on those lines um, was the idea. So uh, she said you could do, suggested, a deer, a rabbit, um, like Thumper, you know, from Bambi, if you've watched Bambi, or a skunk even. But um, I thought this little cute um, deer, fawn, was a great um, idea. I do have... Um, one Disney book but it doesn't have any Bambi pictures in so uh, I thought it was better to just um, find one and uh, as I've got this lovely book I thought it would be fun to uh, to do this little critter so a uh, little sleeping fawn so I'm just doing as you can see a layer of colour to start with now I'm thinking a little bit about my direction as I'm colouring because we've got fur so I'm going in the direction that the fur would be growing. You can see that's quite scruffy, but it actually looks more furry. Um, it's just because I've turned onto a sharper end of pencil like that. And we can start to get some fur look going on. So I'm just going to try and make it a little bit more even. And then um, I'm not too worried about it being dark here and here because or here the light would be catching maybe although um fawn is asleep in a little um thicket i guess um it would st st still be darker tones near the bottom and lighter at the top i you notice i've ignored the freckles at the minute oops sorry so that's our the leveler <laughs> that's our lightest color and i'm going to move on to a cinnamon tone shall show you here is whoops here is the cinnamon and uh, I'm gonna look now at these darker areas and uh, try to do a sort of fur directional coloring if I can now here you see I've tried to make a little darker bit at the bottom and the top of the leg where um, then it will give it a little bit of shape, it will look at, make it look rounder but also a bit more under here where the tail is because there will be some shadow and so a little darker here and then fade that up a bit like that and I shall experiment through with this and then if it looks a little odd we might add a bit more elsewhere we'll just see how it goes really I um these uh, pencils you can add a nice light layer and then sort of work on it you know add layers so if if you're not happy you can just add colors over the top if you're light-handed I do find it hard to color lightly but uh, you know you can keep trying these things it's about practice okay I'm going to try and take that color up a little bit and I'm thinking in this ear Maybe it'd be darker in there. Yeah. And maybe even a little under here. Okay, let's do a bit in here. There'd be some shadow at the bottom of the body and here. And then we can 
carry that colour just gently up. So I hope everyone's well and has been doing some colouring and uh, having fun. In the UK the weather's getting a bit warmer. It's getting sunnier. Well, there's been raining a little bit but you know that's us in the UK. We have lots of rain. Okay I'm going to go on to use a quite a darker shade now. Oops. I'm trying to grab it out. I'm going to use a permanent brown. It's obviously a much deeper dark brown. I'm going to see how that works. It's not particularly sharp, but I'll, I'll see. I feel like this little bit is like a hoof, but this one looks more like a paw. I'm a bit confused, but I'm going to do them both a little bit darker so one doesn't look old. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I think people are starting to sort of go out a bit more and do things outside and people tend to be happier when the weather's warmer, which is nice. It sort of cheers people up. And I think, you know, some people have their... Um, they get the... I can't remember what it's called. But uh, I think they call it sad or something, which is where they don't get sunlight makes them feel sort of unhappy or even clinically depressed in some cases, but obviously not in not all cases. Some people just feel unhappy, which still isn't nice. But um, I think we've been being encouraged lately as a country to take vitamin D over the winter to help our immune systems and also because we don't get any from the sun at this time of year and I think that generally helps people's moods as well somehow so hopefully more people are sort of taking that and feeling better okay now I have done what I'm happy with with regards to shadow I'm going to go right back to my original yellow ochre and just sort of darken everything up a little bit really so I'm going to put colour sort of everywhere here with this, a little bit darker and a bit more confidently. And uh, if I tend, if I feel that it's, I'm sort of taking away from the darker colours that I put down, I can add more of those later. But we'll just have a go. Now I'm going to leave the little spots now, I want them to be a bit lighter, I think they would be, I don't really know um, what uh, what they look like to be honest, but uh, I, I want them to be a little bit lighter and I can make them lighter still in a minute and I'll show you how, but we'll just get this little fellow done now obviously I haven't done the nose I realize that and uh, we can do that in a minute I feel like this face is too pale oops let's hold the page just put on some more fur soft and furry little critter There we go. Now we could draw on some individual bits of fur, which I'm considering. I think I need a really sharp pencil to do this. I don't know how sharp I can go. Oh, quite sharp. This is my permanent brown. Okay, and what we can do just draw on some lines, fur lines here and there. Need my brush. And it's quite faint. I'm going to do it more on the tail because I think it will show more there. Now remember, he's not like he's um, he's not really massively furry like um um. Hmm, I'm trying to think of something really furry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, like 
a shaggy, shaggy dog or something. It's just a light fur. It just adds a little bit in. And you can do as much or little as you like, long or short strokes. I think short strokes tend to look a bit better. Here we go. And nose. Um, excuse me, I'm just going to blow my, no my own nose and then we'll do the nose of this little one. And we do it in black. I've just got my ivory black. And it's quite tempting to use uh, my black glaze pen to make it really shine. But I think I will just use pencil at this point. There we go. I don't know whether it... I'm just wondering now whether it would have a pink nose. Pink, black. Oh well, it's done now. Okay, so I am want to do a little bit of a background around here. I don't want this to remain white. I think it would be green. I'm just looking at my greens. Some of my greens are missing because um, I've got them, I use them for a different a picture which I've got to finish and I put them aside. But that will limit us slightly in what we can use. But that's okay, it makes the job a bit easier. Um, let me have a look at the colours I've got. The permanent green is quite a mid green. I think I might start with that. Um, Permanent green is catching the light. There we go. And it's just on all the background, really. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to demo the whole page for you, but um, where the um, I will do the brambles in a darker colour so that they sort of stand out over the top of this green. So the idea is to colour over all of the background areas where there's white. Obviously once we get out here it's completely black. I'm not going to colour over that. Leave that in a black. But I'm just going I'm just going to the edge where the leaves end really at the minute. That's my plan is to do all of these um, areas with some green and uh, I'm going over black and white in these bits where there's both. It's too difficult not to and I think it'll work better anyway. So all the way around. It's just a simple colouring. I'm trying to layer up a little bit so it's fairly intense so you can see it without pushing down too hard and breaking my pencil lead. Now, I've just noticed there's a snake in this picture. Ooh. But uh, there are also flowers, which is nice. Now, in a picture like this, where there's going to be lots of greens and browns, flowers, um, it's not always easy to pick the right colour. If, um, if you do a purple or a pink, it's maybe not going to really quite work. So uh, I would probably be inclined to do orange, yellow or red so that you've got colours that are a similar tone to the ones that you've already used. If that makes sense. I've also got an owl up here and uh, I will do him in browns as well, just like the form. And um, what else do we have? We have a ladybird. Now I will probably do a yellow ladybird rather. I could do a red one. I think it will work actually red with this. I just don't want to introduce any pinks and purples. I don't think it's going to quite work. I'm just going to give my pencil a sharp and the lead is a bit wobbly. I'm not sure if it's going to break when I sharpen. I've just noticed we also have a little pixie. Oh yeah, it's broken. Bear with me. Um, up here, look. I think he's just about in shot. And um, we have a crown and a spider. We have a skull and a mouse. There's a lot going on in this picture, which I hadn't noticed. I really only noticed our little fawn friend. That's oh, broken again. What I'm going to do is use this sharpener. And I should just stop the video for a minute. Okay, there we go. It's a bit too sharp now. But uh, it'll probably break. 
but uh, at least the lead isn't wobbly. But yes, that um, my sharpener's quite noisy, so I thought it's probably best to uh, not do it on film because I don't want to make a, a loud noise if I can help it. Okay, so we're just colouring this background, really simple stuff. But I'm going to show you what to do in the centre. You could leave it in black and white if you want to, you don't have to put a background in. I just feel like cause it's quite a small area. And I don't think it would be white in this clearing. There would be leaves and hedgerow or thickets and brambles behind our little fawn. So that's what I'm trying to sort of convey but make it a little bit lighter so the fawn stands out as well. And you'll see. Just trying to get in there, work out quite what's going on with all these uh, leaves and bits and pieces to colour around. So nearly there and I will show you where I'm going next. Okay, so we have got, we're all the way around our fawn. So I'm going to take the colour in slightly but really lightly. So I'm not pressing hard, I'm pressing lightly. Just so that I can blend it into my next colour. As I say, we're not having anything too dark and um, pressing too hard. This is thin paper, so it's not always easy to get a really vibrant colour, but I don't think we need it anyway. So there it is. So we're going to go to a lighter colour. So I'm just going to use my um, my swatch chart. So this is the permanent green that we just used. So we want a lighter colour than that. And our greens, I think this one here is the one to go for. So this is um, Cadmium Green Pale. Fortunately, oops, it's one of the colours that I still have in my, um, in my tin. Because, uh, as I say, some of them are missing because... Um, I was using them elsewhere. So I'm going to try and sort of colour over the top of a bit of the colour I've done already and then just bring that colour in a bit. Looks a bit of a different shade of green but that's okay because that will suit the next part of my plan. I make it sound like I'm some sort of um, um, nasty um, evil inventor with a mysterious plan. <laughs> Not really. No, he's on the ground so I might put a bit of shadow under him in a bit just to uh, ground him as it were. So it look how he's floating in the air. So I'm just trying to fade that out a little bit and then we're going to go for a leaf green light which is a very light green. Just heard the letterbox go. Postman must have been. I shall go and investigate after I finish this. I've also got a cup of tea waiting next door to drink, so that'll be nice. So you can see there's quite a bit of white paper still showing through, but I'm okay with that. It's not um it's not a concern of mine. I'm trying to fade it and mix it Put a little bit under here as well just to layer up the green we've got already and what we're going to do next is just go into a bit of a yellow so I want to make sure I've got a really faded green layer there and uh, I'm just going to see which one we haven't got many yellows and I think the lemon yellow 
light, I'm just checking my swatch chart, yes, the lemon yellow light will be the one. So I'm just going to mix it in really. go around and blend it in with the greens. Try not to have any gaps. I don't mind a bit of white paper but I don't want a sort of real big gap. And I think that sort of will draw attention to him on the page as well. I think I'm going to thicken up that layer actually. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to go back in with the permanent green, go all the way around again in a bit of a harder layer, just to uh, just to make it show up a little bit more. So say when I do the brambles, which I'm not going to do on video because we're just concentrating on our little Bambi type figure in this video, um, I'm going to do them darker shades. So I was just going to name a shade of green, which is not from this set of pencils. Um, <laughs> that wouldn't be very useful, would it? Um, probably brownie greens, that sort of thing for the brambles and leaves. So they're darker than this. Um, I'm just looking. We've got oxide of chrome. We've got cadmium green, those sorts of um, colours. So they're a bit darker. And I realised that this um, colour around the fawn is from the bramble, so in theory they should be the same colour as it, but um, I'm doing it a bit differently just so that he stands out. And I think the sort of yellowy colours around him make him look really special. So now I'm going to go back in with the cadmium green pale. It's just darkening it up really. I think he just needs to stand out enough. I might do a bit more here and here eventually as well, but I'll probably do all the brambles first and then decide whether I think it needs it. Because I just, as I say, I really want him to be the focus and center of the picture. That's obviously the idea. Um, you know, he is called Fawn in Brambles, he is in the middle. He was surrounded by white paper, what we're making him stand out, so I don't want to um him not to stand out. circular movement and lots of fun really. Leaf green light just to uh, bring this uh, colour into the yellow. Now I will finish this picture um, as quickly as I can. It's Friday when I'm recording this, so I'll do it over the weekend and I'll get it onto Instagram um, as quickly as I can, I think, so that um, I can so that um, I can share the hashtag so that other people can take part. So I might, um, this was scheduled to be quite a late May video, but because the hashtag is for May, I might try and get it in a bit earlier. I might be a bit more organised next month if I do it again. It depends whether it's something that I can find a picture of because, as I say, I don't have lots of Disney themed books, but if it's something that I can do, like this one, where it's, where it's sort of semi-Disney related, then that will help me. I'm just trying to find my yellow. It's disappearing underneath the pages of the book. Well, underneath the cover of the book, I should say. I think we're nearly done with our little 
sleeping critter. Right, there we are. I'm going to leave that for now. So I may fiddle more. I did say about putting a little bit of shadow under there, which I am just going to do. Um, I want a darkish green. I think I'm going to use the Oxide of Chrome. It's quite a dark green. Just do a little under here, just to make it obvious that he's on the ground. I think it is pretty obvious anyway, but it can sometimes things can look like they're floating in pictures if you're not careful. I think that's fine. Right, I'm going to leave that there. So we've used quite a lot of different pencils. And as I say, I'm probably going to do my flowers. Um, I'm probably going to do them in yellowy orange. Just because if I do them red, they'll really stand out. And we need to focus here. As I keep saying, this is my focus. So I will try and I'll probably do the creatures, the mice, the hare, the owl, all in browns. But so that but maybe darker more muted browns and we've got a little pixie here not sure what to do with him maybe a green hat that sort of thing but quite pale and uh, so I'll see or I might even do the critters in greys and that will make them um, look even more muted I think I might do that actually so mice uh, you can't see all the page sorry Can see all my pencils and my sharpener. So owl, um, mice, hare and snake in grey. <laughs> Crown I want to do in gold but I don't want it to stand out too much so I might do it in quite a dark antique gold. Grey spider, as I say, um, yellowy, muted yellowy orange flowers like Naples yellow, that sort of yellow so not a bright yellow um an ochre or something like that and uh i might uh, i think i'm going to do my ladybird in a in the naples yellow as well rather than being red and it won't jump out and the leaves as i say going to be in the chrome um hooker's green oxide of chrome those sorts of tones so the brownie darker brownie greens there we go so there he is and um, i hope that was okay for you um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. As I say, look out for the finished picture on Instagram um, and uh, on my Facebook page. So thank you so much for watching. Do check out Pixie, Pixie's Projects page. She's got some really lovely um, videos on there. It's really well worth a visit. And she's a small channel just starting out. So Hi everyone. I'm really sorry I was just cut off mid-word. Um, the battery and the camera went and I don't really understand why. Sometimes it just decides it's not going to charge. Um, I had it plugged into the charger as I was recording and it just went flat on me. But anyway, while it was charging, I got this finished. Sorry about the sun on the top. I can't really do... I can move it so you can see it. But uh, I can't move the uh, tripod anymore forward. But um, I finished it, so I did exactly what I said I was going to do with regards to colours. So I used two colours on all the brambles, and I just did muted colours on the crown and the animals and things, just to make this central part really stand out. And I'm really pleased. Um, the, there were a lot of brambles, it took a lot of colouring. I was on the phone, I was colouring away, and things like that. And I can see places where it probably needs another two or three coats of pencil layers I should say but I'm happy um, that's how it is gonna stay so that's how it finished up so um, you can just see and decide if that's what you want to do but thank you so much for watching um, do check out Pixie's projects um, as I say I will put the link to her Instagram and to her YouTube in the description so you can go and have a hop along and find her and uh, and then next month in June she'll have a whole new challenge so if there isn't enough time for you to do this May one or if you don't have a sort of Bambi 
Sumper skunk type picture you can uh, you can join in next month with something different last month she did Beauty and the Beast which would have been lovely but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens next time it's all a bit random as you will see when you watch her video and great fun so thank you so much for watching um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring <laughs>